Kia ora, my name is Josh Aoraki here from the Stardome Observatory in Tamaki Makoto, Auckland, and I'm here to talk to you today about Matariki, the Māori New Year. Matariki is the Māori name for a small cluster of stars that lies within the constellation Taurus. They are known by their astronomical name of M45, they're known as Subaru in Japan, or they're also commonly known as the Seven Sisters or the Pleiades in and around Europe. The Matariki stars are known as an open star cluster, meaning it is a tightly knit group of stars that are bound together by their mutual gravity. We call this star cluster Matariki here in Aotearoa, New Zealand, and for us they are a sign of Te Tauho Māori, the Māori New Year. Matariki lies within the constellation Taurus, which is one of the 12 zodiac constellations. This means that each year the sun appears to pass through Matariki in Taurus, meaning that our view from Earth is blocked for roughly a month. The Matariki stars disappear from view in late May and reappear in mid to late June. When the Matariki stars disappear, this is winter for us here in the southern hemisphere, and this is also when the winter solstice occurs. This is the shortest day and the longest night for us here in the southern hemisphere, and the opposite in the north. When Matariki rises, we know that the days will eventually start to get longer and the seasons are changing. The reappearance of the Matariki stars in June marks the start of the new year for Māori. This is a stellar calendar, meaning that we're using the stars to keep time rather than the sun like most calendars use today. However, the reappearance of the Matariki stars is not the only sign of the new year. The Māori lunar calendar, or Maramataka, plays an important role in when the new year starts every single year. When we first see the Matariki stars in June, it doesn't automatically start the new year. We must wait for the lunar phase known as the last quarter, and then we start the celebration of Matariki for a week-long period until we get to a new moon. Matariki is a week-long celebration and it's a great time to spend with friends and whānau, to eat great food and to look forward to the year ahead. The maramataka is also really important for Māori for things like planting, harvesting and the changing of seasons. Certain phases within the maramataka are used for planting certain types of crops and for marking different changes in our environment. Like many cultures around the world, this lunar calendar is still in use here in Aotearoa. Each star within the Matariki cluster has a name, and each star represents a different part within the Taiao, the environment. Matariki is the name for the biggest and the brightest star cluster in the group, and it's also known as the mother of the other stars. The star of Matariki represents health and well-being. The two stars of Tupu Arangi and Tupu Anuku represent food sources from the sky and from the ground. Ururangi and Waipuna Arangi represent the winds and the rains. Waiti and Waita represent food sources from freshwater and saltwater. The star of Pohutakawa is the star that looks after and guides those that have passed away. Hiwa Itirangi represents our growth, prosperity and our aspirations for the years ahead. Most Māori acknowledge the nine stars of Matariki, but there are slight differences around the country. It's not the same for all iwi or tribe. Matariki is a time for us in New Zealand to come together and to look forward to the year ahead. It is a time to acknowledge the year that has passed and it's a really exciting time for us in New Zealand as we now mark this as the first official public holiday of Matariki.